So in this Power World video guys, we're going to go over 5 plus glitches that still work after the latest patch. Don't go anywhere guys, this one's a good one. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away a couple copies of Power World. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below. Make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. Winners will be announced in a few days, so good luck everybody. Okay, so in this video guys, we're going over glitches that still work after the latest patch. Some of these are new, a couple are older, but let's go. First up guys, we have the Black Market Vendor. There's a couple of things you can do with this dude. Firstly, you can farm him for them three gold keys that he has on him. If you take this dude out, he will drop you these three gold keys. And then you can simply just create the game, load back in. And repeat that process of constantly getting those golden keys the thing is he isn't the easiest to take down because he's quite a chunk but there's actually a glitch you can use to actually take this guy out he freezes them on the spot and it allows you to stand there while your powders all the hard work for you so what you need to do here guys is simply attack him then talk to him at the same time with your power out obviously your power needs to be on that attack mode what will happen is he will freeze on the spot if you time it right your power will attack him his health bar will drop down he ends up dying you get those gold keys then what you do is you simply quit out of the game load back in and rinse repeat the process if this is something you want to do me personally this isn't a glitch i need to exploit uh, but the next one featuring this guy is much much better so you can actually capture this black market vendor and as you well know he actually sells those pals. Now, if you capture this dude, there's a way of rotating that loot, so you can just simply rotate his loot until he has that power that you want to buy. It really is as simple as that. So how this works is, guys, you firstly have to come to him and then capture him. Now, capturing him is probably harder than taking him out because you're going to be using a lot of those spheres, and you're going to need some of the best spheres in the game. Legendary or Ultra Spheres are the only ones that are going to cut it with this dude. Otherwise, you're just going to waste them. I mean, I wasted so many legendaries trying to catch this dude, but I got there in the end. So once I own this Black Market Vendor, once he's mine, I can now just use him. I can put, bring him back to my base and I can use him and you can still buy stuff off him. For instance, as you can see on the screen now, guys, I put him in my base, go up to him, simply just talk to him, go through his, uh, his inventory and purchase a pal I want. Now to reset his stock, all you got to do is or rotate his stock, all you got to do is put him back in the power box, take him back out, simple as that. Now what I do is, and what I prefer to do is, it just makes it like a little neater thing. Build, uh, create a viewing cage and simply guys, just put him in that viewing cage. As soon as you take him back out, you know exactly where he is, his stock will reset, it will rotate. And you can do this over and over and over now this works with any vendor in the game guys as long as you capture them you can do this you can bring them back to your base and keep them there instead of you having to go out into the open world to find them to purchase their items from them so yes if you want a, a vendor at your own base this is what you gotta do people simple as that now what i will say is there's a lot of these black market vendors i've seen them all over the map mostly at night but this one is always here 24 7 and you've seen the location early on in the video so yeah come here guys do what you gotta do and capture yourself a vendor simple next up guys we have a couple of insta power revive tricks so if your power gets ko'd gets incapacitated and you have to put them in that power box for 10 minutes for them to basically chill out cool down and revive there's actually ways to insta revive your powers the first one is just quite simple when that pal is in your party just drop that pal add to your party drop them on the floor you'll notice a sphere will appear here now guys while that pal is on the floor in that sphere all you got to do now is fill up that party spot so your party is full then pick that sphere back up. You'll notice your power goes straight back into your power box uh, and he'll be instantly revived. His health will be back. Simple as that. Now another way of doing this guys is, is putting them into that viewing cage. So if your pallet is incapacitated, put them in that viewing cage, take them back out and there you go. The 10 minute timer has been wiped and your power is ready to use again. It really is that simple people. Yeah. Another little trick I recently found out is with your food. If you press that sorting button within your tab, within the menu, within the food box or your inventory menu, it resets food timers. I just clucked onto this. I don't even know how or why this is even a thing, but a short little tip for you guys. So yes, uh, this works wherever you can sort that food. If that food's in that inventory or the fridge, the feeding box, 
in your inventory. If you press that sorting button, it resets the timer and all said things with timers. A pretty cool little trick, guys. Simple. Okay, so next up, guys, we have a little sneaky one which will allow you to farm dungeon chests without having to fight the boss. Real simple. Now, this works. It doesn't matter what level you are. If you can get into a dungeon, even if it's a high, high-end dungeon, if you're a low level, you can get to those 40, 45 plus dungeons. You can farm that chest loot that you would have to fight the boss for, defeat the boss for to get these chests. You can farm this chest loot without having to fight anything. All this requires is you to have a tan with a saddle on it. The only thing is, guys, you need to make sure it's nighttime and the dungeons that you go within. Powers within them are affected by that day and night cycle. So at night time, they are asleep. Now, another little trick is if you go into a dungeon, and as you know, buses do rotate in these. Uh, but if you go into a dungeon and you come up against a bus that doesn't sleep at night because there's quite a few powers that are like this, you can simply run away from the area and come back. And that dungeon bus should have reset and rotate it. So you can do this, guys, until you find yourself that bus that will be asleep. Now, once you have this, once you find that boss that is asleep, you simply just run past them, go up to that door. There's a barrier there where those chests are hiding. And all you got to do, guys, is angle yourself properly and just throw your tame out. If you do this right, your tame will end up on the other side of this barrier. Then, guys, get close enough to it and simply press and hold that ride button. You'll now go through that barrier, guys, end up on your pal's back. And you can run up to the chest and simply loot them it really is that easy people they can actually fight the boss from this side of the barrier too and he can't hit you but yeah i think that'd be a waste of time if you're low level trying to fight these harder bosses it's just going to be taking too much time it's just pointless so let's get that loot guys and get out of there and you can rinse and repeat this for as long as you like guys it really is as simple as that now a couple of older glitches that definitely still work guys we have the duplication glitch this is one way you can duplicate any uh, more or less material in the game and to do this guys i've explained in a uh, older video which i'll just run that video back i'll cut it up and edit it to keep it short but this is exactly how you get this to work guys so try this out and get those materials so how this works is you build something with said required materials you place the item down you cancel it and you double up you duplicate the materials required to craft it and this works with literally anything you can place down on the floor Okay, so to do this, guys, you need to have a base, obviously. And then, guys, you want to go to the outer edge, the outer edge of your base, which is that blue circle. Now, once you are here, you want to build a storage box on the inside of your base, so it's inside of that blue circle. Then, guys, you want to bring up the item you want to build and duplicate and get those materials back for, doubling up on them every single time you do this. And given you have the room, this works with any item you can place down. So this is how this works. You want to place down the item as you walk out of the circle, walk out of your base's barrier. Uh, it's important to also note that the materials to craft the item we are duping must not be in your inventory. They need to be inside of your base in any random container. It doesn't matter. So place the item down inside of your base, inside of that blue circle, as you step outside of that blue circle, your base. Because if you step outside of that circle where you try and craft, you'll see the warning of insufficient materials. And the trick here is to time it right where you step out of your base as you place the item down to build. So if you do time this right, you can then cancel the build in which you get the materials back for them. But in actual fact, guys, you never use your own. You never use required materials in the first place. So therefore, we're just doubling up on said materials required to craft said items. So you are basically doubling up on the materials. Now it will take some good timing on your behalf and you won't do it every single time, not until at least you get the technique down. And as you can see me doing on the screen now, it does take good timing. I'm doing it on a funny ledge as my base is more or less completely included. So uh, this is where I had to test this out. But on a flat surface, if you can do that, it will be much, much easier to pull off. Although I wasn't really struggling whatsoever. Now, another glitch that still works is capturing those tower bosses. And this is after the version 0.1.3.0. Uh, this still works, guys. So keep that in mind. And to do this, it's quite simple. You need to find yourself any boss in the game. It doesn't matter as long as it's a tower boss. You know, we got that train and you got their little, their pal with them. Like Grisbolt, for instance. And Zoe and Grisbolt. Now, if you actually just go to any settlement beforehand and you start a fight on an NPC that won't normally attack you, like a vendor or something like this, you'll get that wanted 
uh, status on your screen. Now, what you do here, guys, is is simply just build that up a little, probably fight these until you get like a level two or three. And then you just want to fast travel to that tower boss. Now, this don't work, I believe, with every single tower boss. Well, I think you can try and test it with the numerous ones in the game. Definitely works with Grizzbolt, but it's a little bit of a trick you want to be doing here. So with that wanted status, you want to fast travel to that said tower boss. Now, once you notice, you'll see that all the NPCs are still following you. You still got that wanted status. Don't worry about that. Just make sure they are following you still. Now, guys, you want to enter that tower boss fight. In here, you do not want to start a fight with a boss. You don't want to hit the boss. You don't want to initiate contact or anything. What you want to do is you want to try and get the NPCs and the tower boss to be fighting each other. This can work with uh, them attacking each other, the boss attacking them, them attacking the boss, and them just fighting. Once this happened, guys, and you know it's bugged out, is when the tower boss runs into the corner. Now, this is the trick I've heard some people say works best and what you need to do. So when that boss runs into the corner, just stands there on the spot and doesn't move, this means he's bugged out. Here, guys, you need to throw that sphere and hit him in the back. Now, I tried and tested this and it worked for me fine. I uh, can't say it will work for everybody, but this is what I've been hearing, that if you throw that sphere and you hit him in the back, it should work for you. Now, if you don't hit them in the back, it can bug out, so I'm hearing, but for me, it was working first time every time. So yeah, just try that out, guys. But that's what you got to do if you want to catch those tower bosses in this game. But yeah, guys, there we have it. Five plus glitches that still work after the latest patch in Power World. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.